We're going to solve inequalities using adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing. Great thing is we're going to combine what we learned in 7-1 along with how to solve the equations that we've, we've been doing forever. All right, so if we take a look here, this is the first one. We have x less than or equal to, our uh, 8 is less than or equal to x minus 2 and a half. Now normally that would be an equal sign. That's the only thing different. I'm going to solve it just like it were an equation. So remember, when I solve equations, I have to balance them, right? So I want to get x by itself. So let's take a look. What's bothering x? Minus 2 and a half. So I want to do the opposite of that. I want to add 2 and a half to both sides. 2 and a half. 8 plus 2 and a half is 10 and a half. 10 and a half is less than, these are going to cancel out, and we have x. All right? So let's make our uh, graph. I know that my, my boundary here is going to be two and a half, or 10 and a half, so that's right in between. Under, uh, it could be equal to, so it's going to be a filled in. All right? And I want all the numbers that are more than or greater than 10 and a half, so that's this way. Okay? Now it says check your answer. So here's the difference between an equation and an inequality. I have all these different answers. All right, yes, 10 and a half would work, but so would 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 100. All of them would work. All right, if this is the true thing, anything on this side is going to work. So I'm going to use 13. I'm going to plug 13 in, see if it works. Is 8 less than or equal to 13 minus 2 and a half? All right, and then we have 13 minus 2 and a half. Well, that's going to be 10.5. Is 8 less than or equal to 10.5? Well, it sure is. And since it is, everything checks out, we're good to go. All right, so it checks. Let's try the next one. Some room here. All right, g plus 4.2 is less than 5.6. So again, the first thing I need to do is get g by itself. The opposite of adding is subtracting. I'm going to subtract 4.2 from both sides. And I get g is less than 1.4. All right, it's not equal to, so it's going to be open circle at 1.4. That's about 1.4. Open circle, and I want all the numbers that are less than that. All the numbers less than that are going this way. So let's pick one that's less than that. Well, zero is less. Let's see. Is 0 plus 4.2 less than 5.6? 0, that's 4.2. Is 4.2 less than 5.6? It sure is, so it checks. All right, let's try some more out here, see if we can make them a little bit different. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Cannonball! And the great thing is these are all one step today, all right? Breaking in, what's the opposite of multiplying by 4? The opposite of multiplying by 4 is divide by 4. So I have h is greater than negative 4. So I'm going to start at negative 4, not including it because it's not equal to. I want all the numbers bigger than negative 4. All the numbers bigger than negative 4 are to the right. All right, down here, the opposite of dividing by 5 is going to multiply both sides by 5. Two, time, or 2 times 5 is 10. 10 is greater than or equal to R. So it could be equal to it, so I'm going to shade it. It's going to be a solid dot. I want all the numbers less than 10. All the numbers less than 10 go this way. All right, let's check it. Um, let's see, what's a number less than, oh, I'm gonna, you know, zero's over here, isn't it? I'm gonna use zero. Zero divided by five is zero. Is two greater than or equal to zero? Yeah, sure is, so it works out. All right, let's do, move on. All right, let's do this one. All right, you know me by now. You know there's a trick, so let's check it out. We're going to divide by a negative 7. So far, I haven't been divided by negatives. So now I have h is greater than negative 6. Let's graph it. Start at 6. I want all the numbers greater than that. All right, let's try one. Let's try negative 3. Negative 7 times negative 3 is negative 21 greater than 42? 
or excuse me, positive 21, is that? No, that's not true. This is where the trick comes in. See, we divided by a negative here, and that really screws things up because it changes signs, right? This was a positive, and it changed to a negative. Well, if that changes, we need to change this inequality sign. So anytime we're going to divide or multiply by a negative, we need to flip that around. So now, instead of being greater than, it's going to be less than. So let's re-graph that. All right. So I'm starting at negative 6 still. Now I want all the numbers less than that. So let's see if that works. Let's try negative 7. Negative 7 times negative 7 is 49. Is 49 greater than 42? It sure is. All right, down here, I'm dividing by, remember this negative can go with this 15. So we're going to multiply both sides by negative 15. All right, and that's again, that's going to cause a sign change here, right? Because I'm multiplying and dividing, multiplying and dividing by negatives causes that sign change. So whenever there's a sign change, I need to switch my inequality symbol. So now r is greater than or equal to negative 45. Let's see here. So it could be equal to it, so I'm shading it in. I want all the numbers bigger than that. So all the numbers bigger than that are this way, okay? Uh, what's the number bigger than that? Zero. So let's try it. Zero divided by negative 15 is zero. Is zero less than or equal to three? It sure is, all right? Now notice when I check it, I didn't change the inequality, did I? All right, that's just for the solution, all right? So let's write that note down. Whenever you multiply or divide an inequality by a negative number, reverse the inequality symbol. All right? Only multiplying divide, not adding and subtracting. Only when you actually multiply or divide by a negative. Notice, this number here is a negative that I was multiplying to the other side. There was a problem before, right here, negative 16. I didn't switch it here though, did I? Because the four that I'm dividing wasn't negative. So it only happens when what you're, the number you're actually multiplying or dividing by is being uh, negative. All right, write the verbal sentence as an inequality. So the quotient of y and three, quotient is division. So y and negative three is greater than or equal to 12. So I'm gonna multiply both sides. When I multiply by negative, I need to switch. So y is less than or equal to negative 36. All right, let's jot this down. Negative 36, negative 35, negative 37. Could be equal to it, so I shade it. I want all the numbers less than, so it's going the other way. All right, down here, difference. Difference means subtraction. So b minus 12 is less than negative 5. So I add 12. So b is less than 7. So... 7, 8, 6, open dot, I want all the numbers less than, goes that way, all right? All right, pause the video and you try these two, and then we'll see if you got them right. All right, welcome back. So I need to divide by a negative 6h, or just negative 6. When I divide, I have to switch. So negative 12 divided by negative 6, there's a sign change, that's 2 is less than h, so open dot, and I want all the numbers bigger than 2. All the numbers bigger than 2 goes this way. All right, uh, down here I'm going to add 12. h is less than or equal to 20. Open dot, I want all the numbers less than that. It goes this way. Okay, real simple. Uh, hopefully you remember how to solve one-step equations, and that's going to help you out quite a bit. So the only real new thing here is the, the flip on the signs, right, and um, the graphing of the inequalities. If you need any help, of course, ask your teachers. Good luck on the mastery check.